okay so in this class we are going to study about inverse images so we will first start with a small theorem and then we will see some problems so let f be a function from a to b and let x and y be subsets of b what is b b is the codomain then the first part is that f inverse of x union y is equal to f inverse of x union f inverse of y and second part is that f inverse of x intersection y is the same as f inverse x intersection f inverse y you have to be very careful when you are writing x and y you have to write x and y here capital because x and y are sets over here okay now what we will do in this uh, theorem we will prove only the first part and the second part will follow similarly as that of the first part so i will write start writing the proof of the first part so i have to show f inverse x union y is equal to f inverse x union f inverse y so i will write here part a part a let i will first show you a figure let me show you one small figure so now i'm drawing the domain a and i'm also drawing the codomain b i'm taking x inside b and y is also inside b because x and y are subsets of what x and y are subsets of b then i will pull back the inverse of x and that set when i pull back when i take the inverse that set is called as f inverse x this set is called f inverse x when i pull back the image of y that set i'm going to call f inverse y okay now let me start with part a let so see what i am supposed to prove i will show you again i want to show that f inverse x union y is equal to f inverse x union f inverse capital y what are x and y x and y are subsets of b i will start with the left hand side now in part 1 what is the what is the left hand side of part of this part f inverse x union y so i will start 
with something in x f inverse of x union y so let me write here now part a is let c this is little c this is not capital c okay belong to f inverse x union y x and y are capital remember they are sets this means that this f if i bring on this side it will become f of c belongs to x union y f of c belongs to x union y means f of c belongs to x or because it's a union f of c belongs to y if there is intersection instead of or i will write and f of c belongs to x means if i keep c alone here and if i push back this f there on the right hand side this will mean that c belongs to f inverse x or similarly here c belongs to f inverse capital y which is the same thing to say that c will belong to f inverse x union f inverse y because there is a or in between so i can i can put a union sign in between correct now if you look at this entire calculation you will understand that this is the first line is my left hand side c belongs to f inverse x union y is left hand side and if you see the last line the last line is telling you that c belongs to the right hand side so we started with the left hand side and we have landed in the right hand side this means that left hand side is a subset of right hand side therefore left hand side who is my left hand side f inverse x union y this left hand side is a subset of right hand side who is the right hand side f inverse x union f inverse y okay this is what is part a now we will start with part b in part b now i will start with the right hand side so i will say let c belong to the right hand side what is right hand side f inverse x union f inverse y this is the right hand side which further will mean that now c belongs to f inverse x union f in union f inverse y means c belongs to f inverse x or c belongs to f inverse y which means that f if i bring on the left hand side will give me f of c belongs to x or for the second part i'm going to get f of c belongs to y therefore f of c is belonging to x or f of c belongs to y therefore what can i say about f of c now this means 
f of c belongs to x union y. Again, if I shift this f on that side, what will I get? This will mean that c belongs to f inverse of x union y. Again, look at this part now, part B. The first line is right hand side. And the last line is the left hand side. So I started with the right hand side and I have landed in the left hand side. This means that right hand side is a subset of left hand side. This means RHS is a subset of LHS. Who is RHS here? If inverse X union f inverse y is a subset of f inverse x union y so from part a and part b what we have got is left hand side is a subset of right hand side and right hand side is a subset of left hand side now this is the definition of equality of two sets okay in my previous lecture of equality of two sets we have said that if a is a subset of b and if b is a subset of a then the set a and set b have to be equal so by part 1 part a and part b what we can now conclude is that f inverse of x union y this set and the other set what is the second set f inverse x union f inverse y both these sets are what both these sets are equal okay and therefore you will get this result because LHS is a subset of RHS, we have proved that and RHS is also a subset of LHS that also we have proved. So we will get that F inverse X union Y is equal to F inverse X union F inverse Y. Now, wherever there is a or in the above proof, you have to just replace it by the word and wherever there is a union in the above proof you have to just replace it by the intersection unions will get replaced by intersection and or will get replaced by and if you do this you will get the result of second part which is saying that f inverse of x intersection y is equal to f inverse x intersection f inverse y so both these results can be proved by the same method of proof okay let us write one important note First is f of x union y is equal to fx union fy. Second, f of x intersection y. And on the right hand side, I have fx intersection fy. I will not write anything in the middle. Third, F inverse of X union Y 
and on the right hand side i will write f inverse x union f inverse y and fourth f of f inverse x intersection y and on the right hand side f inverse x intersection f inverse y so what we observed is that from the above theorem for the third part and for the fourth part we must write equal to because we have just now proved that the two quantities f inverse x union y and f inverse x intersection y these two quantities left hand side and right hand sides are actually equal for the first part f inverse x union y is equal to f inverse x union f inverse f, f of x union y is always equal to f of x union f of y but in our previous lectures we have seen that f inverse x intersection y and fx intersection fy they need not be the same so the second part for the second part you need not have a equal to sign instead of equal to sign the symbol that is expected in between is the symbol of subset so these four identities are very important out of which the second identity is only saying that f of x intersection y is a subset of fx intersection fy all other identities are having equal to sign in between them 